Hello and greetings to all. On this video, I'll teach how you install uh, box billing. Um, it's actually it's pretty sweet software, and to top it off, it's free. So you know you can't beat it. You could actually do your billing and so forth with it too. So um, let's go ahead and jump right in so we can see what we need. Um, the very first thing we're going to need is either a self-hosted uh, website or a hosted site. Uh, the hosted, obviously, that would be either GoDaddy, uh, Namecheap, One and One. I mean, there's a number of hosted sites out there. The next thing you're going to need is uh, FTP uh, or the ability to transfer files to the site. I mean, so that would be whatever your provider actually gives you. Um, to use and basically I use ISP config and ISP config uses a folder called web now if I'm using uh, cPanel uh, I also use a uh, name cheap uh, for hosting and their their folder is actually public so it depends what, who you're using um, you're also going to need a PHP database and the PHP user and Last, you'll need an active email. Uh, those are the, the key components of this whole thing. Um, now we can actually move on to what we are going to do. Uh, oops. Okay, so let me. So, oops. So what we're we, what we're going to need is also the, we're going to need to download the files from the box billing of website. Um, then what we're going to do next is we're going to upload the downloaded files to the site that, we're, that, we're, we, that we got either from our hosting. On my situation, I'm going to do it on a test server that I have here. So I'll be doing FTP. Um, the next thing is we're going to create a subdomain. That would be the what I would recommend. So you could actually point your subdomain to it so so what I'm going to use I'm going to use uh, invoice that would be my subdomain dot test dot net that's what what I'm going to what I'm going to need um, and then just to follow the directions at the very end so let's go ahead and jump right in at this point uh, let me get out of this okay so let me minimize this so step one we're going to go download let me fire up Chrome. And there's my website kicking in. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and just paste it and go. Okay, so once we're here, uh, you're just gonna go ahead and click on download uh, box Billy. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and click. There it is, it's actually downloaded down here, in the bottom left. And there it is. It's already downloaded. We close this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is navigate or I'm going to open my file manager. And I'm going to navigate it to downloads. And here it is. So what I normally do is I create a new folder. And I'll call it whatever I download it. It's just easier for me to manage it. Um, so this is going to be box billing. Oops. Uh, let me zoom in. So box billing. Okay, and then I'll, what I what I, I just do is I just drag this thing right over. So now I want to open the folder I just created. And what I'm gonna do now is just extract this. So let me. Let me move this here so we can see it better. Oops. Okay, so th this is what's going to be extracted. I'm just going to go ahead and click on extract right here. And I'll just hit extract here. Because I I create the folder that way I know where it, everything's being dumped. Um, okay, so that's done. We're going to go ahead and close that. And we're going to close this. And you notice now all these files are actually in there. 
I'm, I am going to transfer everything except the zip folder. Okay, so I'm going to close this. So now that's already done. Now what I'm going to do next is actually um, open my FileZilla. Bring it over. And I'm already in the download folder right here. So let me. So you can see I'm already on the actual download folder here. And then here's the folder I just created. Now I go in here, then I can actually see. Um, You can actually see all the files. Okay, so I'm gonna upload everything except this one. This is this is the actual file I actually downloaded, so I, I want to avoid that. So what I'm gonna do is connect to my FTP and connect, and you can see on mine. On mine is actually called web. Okay, so double click web, and here's the actual uh, folders that I have in there. Now, what I'm going to do is just drag, I'm just going to hold my mouse and just drag it over to the right. Now everything's being transferred over. Okay, all the files are actually transferred over now. You can actually see them here. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to disconnect from here and I'm going to close my file Zilla. And I'm going to reopen my browser. I'm going to open Chrome. So there's Chrome kicking in. My website. And remember, the website that I actually I'm going to test it on is going to be this one. Uh, let me navigate down. This one. Invoice.test.net. I'm going to copy this. Uh, copy. And. paste and go. So at this point we're greeted and let me zoom in. Um, we're greeted and it's actually telling us what to do. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a blah 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 and the configuration. Um, we need to do this before okay so we're gonna go ahead and click on continue. And okay so then now it actually checks. If you notice it actually checked everything. Um, and everything passed. It's telling me every, everything that I have on here. And it, we're ready to move on. So, oops. Okay, so we're, at, we're gonna hit the next at the bottom right. Okay, so now it's gonna ask us where, remember what I was talk, telling you about the database? This is where this comes in. I, it is gonna be on the local host but then the database name, my database name is C12 is my database name. So here it is. C12 is my user. And let me go ahead and put my password. And now I'm gonna click on next. I think. Oops. So now here is gonna be what your name as the administrator is gonna be. So here I'm gonna put, uh, this is what I was talk talking about, uh, a valid email. My next, Mac at freelancetech.com. Okay, and then you're gonna enter your password. We're gonna click on next. Uh, install, we'll create it. Okay, that's fine. So it's just saying, it's gonna create a database. And uh, congratulations, blah, blah, blah. Everything's ready to go and everybody's happy. And thank you for choosing client area and admin area. It's kind of cool. It's actually nice. Uh, documentation forum. Uh, forum takes you to to their forum. They're, they're being uh, box billing. Admin area. This would be your email that you entered earlier. Uh, and then the password. Oops. 
and log me in. Oh, check your login. Okay. Okay, so we're logged in. I, I was actually typing the wrong password. Go figure. Um, so once we're logged in, I mean, you can actually see it's it's kind of cool. Now clients can actually log in and to their portal, which would be within your your web server, um, and they can actually see all the activity, uh, history, your configuration settings, emails, your themes. Not bad. Very nice. So um, yeah, I mean overall, uh, very nice. I'm impressed. Uh, again, you know, hope you liked the video. Uh, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow us on Facebook. Um, leave your comments um, if I can do something to help you. And thanks for watching.